everyone and welcome back to a very sunny uh, episode of Dressing World Live where today we're going out because we are going to dart hopefully four Rexies I think it is about, about four sorry if I'm a bit skewed we're kind of doing this in the um, in the blazing hot sun of Japan and because I'm talking a lot I have to wear a mask unfortunately but hopefully this is working so you should be able to see what I'm doing now I've never done this on the phone before so I'm kind of curious as to how well I'm going to dart because I normally just do it on an iPad but it's Rexy. We've got two opportunities because it's a pay to win dinosaur. We kind of need to try our best so I've actually had to go outside, would you believe, and dart this thing because there's only two of them so I'm hoping if I get about 300 which is not going to happen, if I got 300 I could level up my Rexy to 29. Okay here we go. Oh lord. Okay, well, that was the most direct hit I'm ever going to get, and I didn't even get a direct hit. Oh, this is not boding well. <laughs> I'd like at least one direct hit. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Is that a tail shot? Oh, no! Always with the tail shot, and... So I thought maybe I'd be able to get a 20, like a 200, but uh, no, a hundred. A hundred is the best I'm gonna get. Sweet. <laughs> so now I've got three left to get. I would need at least like 250 each time. Chances of that happening? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I think we've got as close as we're gonna get to the other Rexy because uh, we're literally right on top of it. You can't get much closer than that, can you? So you'll probably hear a lot of cicadas around me because well, we're in Japan and it's summer, so there's a lot of them. I apologize. It's like we're in Jurassic Park. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, so without further ado, my phone is like heating up because Jurassic World Alive is a very demanding thing to do on mobile data, as well as recording it. So hopefully this is all working all okay. We can only hope. Um, now the last one I got was like a hundred. So I'm, I'm hoping for more. I did not expect the tail shot. You're going to turn your head, aren't you? Yeah, ready, and boom, there we go, 23, 11, okay, off to a good start, maybe not that, but it was a good start, oh, that was not, I think I'm just used to like, oh, a tip shot, oh, of course, a tail tip shot, okay, we're doing better than we did last time, oh, God, oh, I needed that, I needed that, Whoa, 150, you know what? There's an improvement of like 40 odd. I wouldn't say that's really that bad. So it takes us to 1,155. So we still need 845 DNA. Now, normally that would be it, but we've actually got the Rexy scent. I think I mentioned that before, but hey ho, maybe we've edited that bit out, I don't know. Yes. So we can plop one of these off and we instantly get a Rex. I like how the Tarbo's like, dart me! Okay, so we got two extra Rexies to do here. Oh, can we beat 150? I hope we can. I hope we can beat 150. Oh god, that's not looking good. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I thought I had that there. Oh yeah, you gotta cut them off. That's what you gotta do. Oh, maybe if we don't get a single direct hit. But we get some good ones anyway. Oh yes! You see those skills? <laughs> Don't be a headshot. Oh, 177. Ooh, highest score ever, actually. I'm just a pro. What can I say? <laughs> Fun fact, actually, if you have a look at this park and where we are, I mean, that's... I have no idea what this is. But this park is actually the same park that uh, I took the photo of me with the compi for the uh, Jurassic Dino Tracker thing. So, hey, the more you know. So we're slowly getting towards it, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it there, the next one. Oh, I just realized you've got like all these crazy ants. Oh, I don't know if I want to be bit by that one. That looks like a bullet ant. <laughs> I'm not used to having dangerous wildlife from the UK. So what we'll do is we'll just plonk off the next one. Oh, okay. Sorry. We need to put on a different set. Unfortunately, I may be able to get a, like an Albertosaurus, but it's what, like a 2% chance? So chances of that happening very low, let's be honest. So four Rexies, let's put out the fourth one. So, so far, what was that? Like 100, 200, 300, like 400 Rexies. So we've already 
saved about 89 pound. So hey, we're doing really good. So 177 to beat, and I didn't get a direct hit on that one, but I'm getting better. Starting with a direct hit. Oh, that should have been a direct hit. That one, I was a little bit off. Same with that one. I think I'm just like, if I just, oh my God. Oh, this is not a good one. Oh, but you know what? If I get more direct hits, whoa, whoa, triple kill. <laughs> That's how you do it. 180, baby. <laughs> that was lucky. Now I'm really, now I'm really conscious about all these. Like, I'm... so that takes us to 1,512. Now I know already there's like 29s and 30s knocking about in the arena, just because the other day there was like four incubators you could get, as well as like legendary incubators you could open for Rexy. Unfortunately, I opened all those, didn't get a single Rexy. Got like 600 of the marsupial lion one apart from that it's a bit unfortunate that i didn't get that but hey ho it just it's a bit coincidental isn't it the top players not only spend the most money but also are the luckiest and have level 30 rex what's with that how do they do it mm. so i think that well that's this live action part of the video you can come and walk with me look look at the beautiful pack welcome to japan <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're probably going to cut back now and uh, hopefully, I don't know, we're not going to get Rexy because that's it. Maybe there'll be another £2,000 incubator. Wouldn't we love that? No. Before we go and head back home, how about we get some from the vending machine? Because it's Japan. They do loads of cool things. Look, I don't even know. We got some like Pokemon freaking tea. I don't know. I'm going to go with that one. So you click it. And then you scan your card. Did that do it? Oh yeah, there you go, empty drink. Now we can head back. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of your favorite show on the channel, Jurassic World. Oh wait, no, we've already done the intro, haven't we? Yes, my bad. Because we've just come back from filming outside in the pack where we darted four uh, Rexies and would you believe it, we didn't quite get there to 29. It's a shame. I I think my phone was overheating with the first one. And because of that, it was like, like chugging along. But also, it seemed like even though it was really close to them, the time just like flew by. I got better. We got like 180, I think was the most. Here's me thinking I would get 200. Ha! Ah, anyway. <laughs> so we have something big to announce because look who's in my team. It is... Giganix, or should we just call it Gigachad now? Apparently, people are calling it Gigachad. So yes, we now have that level 28 in our team. And wow, this, you saw that. I clicked that ages ago. And now it's by like, oh yeah. <laughs> so we've got to make a couple more pops at this. Yeah, there you go. A little bit more. That'll do it. There you go. Get try Stonix a little bit higher because I've been using it. And it's actually really good. Like really freaking good. So at the moment, my boosts are, I got 14 health and 14 uh, attack, so I'm balanced. Basically, your speed's already 125, which is actually quite fast. Um, and majority of the time, I could probably put one more if I wanted to into speed, just so if I'm against another Giga Chad, at least I gotta go first, which makes more sense with the tactic you need to do with it. But, uh, I digress, we're gonna do one more pop, maybe we get 60, who knows? Nice. Whoa, 40 though? Ooh, we're almost level 29. Wow. So we are definitely going to get to level 29. We could get level 29 right now if we wanted to. Because we could just go through the Giga um, event and get the 200 at the end. But I'm kind of okay. I don't really want to. I don't think I've got any other incubators that are going to guarantee me any Giga. If I'm honest, I think we could, we could like pop a Jurassic Scent down. But the chances of getting a Giga is less than 1%. So it's not really worth it. Um, so yeah, there will be now level 30s in, in the battle arena. I would not be surprised if people have managed to get the four darts by every incubator and get extremely lucky with opening the legendary incubators. It's already in there. It's not a matter of if, it's it's when. You will finally see a level 30 Rexy, if not already have seen a level 30 Rexy. So with that being said, how about we uh, do some battles because it's the best part of every Jurassic World Alive video. Oh, saying that, before we do go into that, I wanted to mention about the Indominus Rex and Smile and Emmys hybrid, or talk about it, because 
It says in on their post in the forums and stuff that it is Indominus Rex and Smile Enemies or whatever you want to call it. And then a lot of people start saying, well, what if it's Indominus Rex Gen 2? Why are people saying Indominus Rex Gen 2 when it doesn't even state it on the website? Well, if you zoom in to the Indominus Rex picture that they posted, it's actually Indominus <laughs> Rex Gen 2 because it's like slightly darker and it's got the yellow stripes. So we still don't know whether Indominus Rex is going to get its third hybrid, two unique and one apex, or if Indominus Rex Gen 2 is going to get a hybrid. So just to cover our bases, this is Indominus Rex Gen 2, which already has two hybrids, Indotaurus, well, there you go, and Indoraptor Gen 2, which I think already has another hybrid. No, it doesn't have a hybrid. Okay. But one of the ingredients for, that is quite rare to come by is T-Rex Gen 2, or at least I've found it's quite hard to come by. So if it is actually um, Indominus Rex Gen 2 that we need for this new hybrid, it's not as good looking, uh, or at least it's not as like uh, easy to get, I should say. It's not looking as good uh, to get as it would be the regular Indominus, because this one is ingredients are a lot harder to come by than like Raptor and T-Rex, which have been in the game for ages. T-Rex Gen 2 goes into Tenoto Rex, and it also goes <laughs> into um, the Indotaurus. And if you've played the game for a long time, you've probably got Indotaurus and Tenoto Rex level 30. Probably. I'm just guessing. I don't have Tenoto Rex level 30 because I didn't really use it that often. I didn't really have enough T-Rex to go around. So I just had enough to make friggin' Indotaurus. So it'll be interesting. Whether it's gonna be Indominus Rex or Indominus Rex Gen 2, still to be seen because they used the picture of Indominus Rex but said Indominus Rex in the forum and not Gen 2 when they did specify if it was Gen 2 or Gen 3 in other hybrids. So still remains to be seen. We'll see. Fingers crossed it's not Gen 2 because if it is, it's gonna be harder to get. Right, here we go. What? Please be Giga, Giga Chad. Please be Giga Chad. Yes! I love stopping Giga Chad. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I, uh, should we put like two more healths on it? I want to put that one speed on it. I was told by somebody that that's the best thing to do. Put, put the extra speed on just so you can outspeed any other ones. Um, so this is not the best kind of thing I want to be up against because uh, this is going to happen. I'm going to take a counter and then a big hit. But having the health really helps here. I've never faced up against one of these, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, oh, of course, it gets a crit as well. Ay, ay, ay! <laughs> right, uh, I think we, I think he's probably going to swap to finish me off, but if he does... Oh, he doesn't! Okay, interesting. I don't know how much health I give myself, to be fair. Um, probably not enough. <laughs> I don't think... Oh, he ruined my speed! You bugger you! Yeah. Right now, he might switch, knowing that he's probably going to die in this next hit. Because I do like 9,000 damage. Like 7,000. And usually you get a crit. Oh, never mind. Oh, he takes it. I hate to see it. So now I get Devour here. I cleanse the vulnerability. Um, and oh, that was unfortunate. He got lucky with the crit. But if I was him, I would have just switched. Oh, yes. He's killed me, I think. Unless he thinks I'm not going to get too much health back. But I get two. Oh, look at it. So he can go for his precise. And he's probably going to go for it. If I swap out, what happens? He does 2,000 and odd damage to me. Um, am, am, I, am I happy just taking that? Yeah, sure. You can take the kill. Yeah, go for your precise. Because he could get a crit and he could kill me. Um, right, so with that being said, what should I swap? I've got Ceramagnus, which I've just put in because it's instead of, what do you call it? Um, oh, God, what's it, what's it called? Uh... Scorpius Rex Gen 3, that's the one. Oh, also, I wanted to kind of touch on, like, this has been a lot of talk as to... Oh, we'll, we'll do that in a separate one. <laughs> because uh, Indominus Rex, is, there's been a lot of talk with that, but I'll probably put that in previously, if I've remembered. Uh, yeah, I'll go, for, I'll go for this, just so I can go through his dodge. He could probably go for another precise, and he's probably going to do that, I think. Yeah. But then again... I might be able to kill him, actually. We'll see. We'll see if I'm able to kill him. Because he does have a priority. However, his priority is not very good. Um, it's like a distraction. And against me, it's going to do nothing. So he still has his dodge. So I could go for this. And then if I get a crit. Or I could go for this. So I could try and go for the lucky. 
Um, does he have resistance to bleed? He doesn't have So this guarantees a kill, I think. This one doesn't. Ah, we'll go for it. We'll go for the maybe if I get through. Yes! Oh my god, it actually works! I actually got through a dodge. That never happens. <laughs> Ever. Alright, okay. Go on then. What you got? Throw something at me. Referantum. Do it. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's probably got more than... It doesn't have more than 2,000. Okay, okay. Well, with that being said, uh, we'll just try and stun him, shall we? Uh, actually, you know what? This is really good. Because at least we go through his armor. And that's important. With a uh, Testa Corbinus. Does he get a shield? No, even if he did, it would, would smash it anyway. I think we're in good stead here for actually winning. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. It looks... It's looking good. 2,691. Uh, and then we can go for a heal next turn because he's quicker. So he's going to do a cleansing, decelerating. Um, devastating, he does a fair amount of damage, I suppose. But we could still survive it. Um, yes, I think we can survive it. So we'll go for this. Oh, he goes for a dig in. <gasps> oh, he shouldn't have. Oh, that's... Um, um, yeah. Or maybe he should have. I don't know. I, if I was him, I would have went for the superiority or whatever it is. Su superior vulnerability. That's what I would have went for. Because then he can go for devastation and he would have killed me. I would. He would have forced me to have had to heal because of the vulnerability. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. I'll go for this big hit. Take away his speed. Not that it makes much of a difference. Uh, then I can go for my priority heal. Uh, what's the cooldown on it? Cooldown's one, so he could go for it next turn um do we do we just go for i don't know okay okay i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this okay okay it's tricky it's a swap in swap out kind of thing <laughs> I've, I've healed because i know i get more health yes i, I have more health than i would have had swapping out at least at this time that's what we want um oh man now he's gonna go for his his big hit. If I can get the stun off, he's still gonna heal a load. Yeah, I'll let him kill me. I'll let him kill me. Go on then. Yeah, sure. Sure. Go for it. Go for it. I don't care. Right, what are you gonna do now? We got Sarah Magnus. Uh, we can go for a big hit. Yeah, we'll go for a big hit. He'll probably shield, yeah. Shield. Great accelerating. And then another... Sorry, precise... Rampage. Speed increase, rampage. Right? So now we'll go for a speed increase and then a rampage. And maybe that'll kill him, I think. I think that'll do it. I could be wrong. You'll probably have like a tiny bit of health left. Yeah, probably. Probably. Test the is hard when you, you you don't have the right things to uh, come up against it. Oh, well, we've got the armor. So, you know, it's not going to do too much damage. Yeah, there it is. And now we do this. Ah, he still survived. Ah, we don't get the crit. Ooh, what do we do? What do we do here, guys? We are quicker. If he swaps in something that can do damage, then I'm done for. I'm done for here. Uh, we'll go for the speed increase. Go on, swap out. Go on. Don't kill me, though. Go on. What you got? Tell me. What? What was it? What was it? What did he have? Did I just... Am I blanked on it? I don't know what it was. Well, I mean, you saw Giga Chad do its work, but then it kind of died afterwards. <laughs> really, the strategy with uh, Giganix is just to heal, because you go second, and then do the biggest hit, and you're good. You're golden. Okay, here we go. Second battle. Oh, this is a good one. Yes, this is good. I'm not vulnerable. I have armor, so this doesn't go through it. My counter breaks his shield and also goes through his armor. So, yeah, yeah, this is looking good. And this goes through his armor, slows him down, bleeds him. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, it's not looking good. And then, if he doesn't switch out, he's basically dead. So he does get his counter off, which is always good for uh, Ankle Soul looks. Uh, so let's see what he does. If he swaps out, he's dead. But if he stays in, he he's probably going to get stunned by this. The 100% chance of stun. Uh, Ankylos doesn't have any resistance to it. So there we go. He's going to get another bleed. I get to heal. Uh, and I increase my own attack. So, if I wanted to right now, I could keep my Imperator Sutures at the health it's at, but take a hit from Ankle Sword with its uh, stun thing. Or, 
I could just put in power tops. I'm gonna put in power tops because the, the tricky thing with power tops is you switch it in, it does damage. Brilliant. But then if it doesn't kill it, it gets hit by something and then it's probably not faster next turn and then it gets hit by again and it dies. So if I can have it swap in, kill the thing, and then I can be home free to, you know, I, I can absorb a big hit. And then I can go for my heal and then swap out again. This is how we do it. This is how we play. And it is a full Rex, would you? Yeah, just love to see it, don't you? Um, so I'm going to go for my heal. Yeah, that's fine. If he wants to go for that, that is completely fine. Um, because I think we can kill him next turn. <laughs> he should have just went for the biggest hit. I, well, maybe... Like, what, what damage? It does a bunch of damage. 5,100. But I kill him in one hit. So feel free to go for it, mate. Go for it. If you get a crit, you probably kill me, though, to be fair. And you don't. And you wouldn't have killed me anyway. So this is looking really good. I hate full wrecks. I also hate paratops. But at least this way, I'm winning. <laughs> Yay! There we go. We played the... Okay, guys. Come in. We, we, we deserve, like, a... A few, a few small air horns. Oh, and he's got his own power tops. Is it max attack? Hey, it's max attack. Get in. So what do we do when it's max attack? Um, well, what what can we do? I guess I'll just fully heal and just absorb the revenge hit. Get that out the way. Rather than switching something in for it to die. Oh. Weird. Why did he not go for the... Did he forget that I could do that? Or has he just given up? Right. I want him to use his revenge hit, so I'd rather fodder off. To be fair, I mean, what's the stun chance of it? It's 33%, so you know what? Sod it. I'll swear Magnuson. There's a high chance I'll get the stun. Uh, well, you know, a, a moderate chance. Oh, we get the crit, though. Okay, so the stun was uh, what? Uh, Freaking crit was 10% chance. What's going on? <laughs> right, so now he can't do his biggest hit. He's vulnerable, or I'm vulnerable. Uh, let's see, he'll probably swap, swap out. Although that's his swap in to do damage. So, unless he's got another one. And there it is! A 3-0 victory! Wow! Okay, Staz! That, that was unfortunate. The Imperator Sutures against the Ankylos Lux is just... It's not nice to go up against, man. It is not nice. Can we get a hat-trick? Can we get new blush ores? Probably not. Okay, round three. Can we get a hat-trick? I'd be very surprised. Ooh! Uh, uh, no, no. Not with this team. I don't think so. I don't like it. There's a Rexy, though. At least we get to see Rexy before we go. Uh, oh, am I faster? I don't think I'm faster. I'm never faster. Uh, cleanse damage over time and then just go for the big hit? I mean... Sure, yeah. Oh, you fool! You fool! <laughs> what are you doing? No, I mean, he could switch out, to be fair. I mean, it's... I, I, I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> yeah, cleanse the damage over time. And now I've got my priority. So... I've left myself wide. I could stay in, leaving, leaving myself wide open to a Paratops or something else to attack me. Uh, um, I'm kind of tempted to swap out here. I, I want to save Referent. Oh, we didn't. Oh, very interesting. Sarah Magnus, um, I, I don't really know how to use apart from doing damage. I want to keep my ref just to do that. I would have won there. He didn't even go for any priority. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you do that. Do I have a resistance to anything? Uh, I don't. Okay. So, he can only go for his, like... Oh, he's swapping out. Oh, God. How much damage does that do? Oh, well, it's going to do a lot more damage in a second anyway. Yeah, this thing is horrible to go. I hate it. Because <laughs> it has a priority, right? Oh, I've survived. Uh, it doesn't make much of a difference, though, because he's going to have... Uh, he's going to be able to do... Oh, do your priority. Yes, do your priority. Why did you not do your priority? Damn it. Because <laughs> then Rexy could have come in and killed it. Okay. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage here. Okay, okay. Did he forget that he could do that? Or was he just not that bothered? Right, he wanted to finish with the counter. Oh, he didn't even finish with the counter. Wow, okay. So he's still got his, like, massive damage. Uh, which is like 3,900. Um, but we can kill him with this. Uh, right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, ooh, should I predict him going for the priority? And then... Oh. Oh, I could. I could. I could predict him going for this and do that. <gasps> ooh. No, 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 no. We'll not risk it. We'll not risk it. 
We'll just kill him. <laughs> Listen, because then there might be a chance I'll I'll die though, even even doing that with the the priority or the thingy, the priority. So I think it was just safer just to get rid of that thing. Get rid of it, and he'll put his ref in, and then oh no, it's interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, right. Okay, if he gets a crit, he's killed me. Doesn't get a crit. Ooh. Ooh. This could go either way. I don't have really to know. <laughs> Does, I mean, he's keeping his ref. I do a lot of damage there, though. I do a lot of damage. <laughs> I just need to be faster. Um, and have a priority move. And we can kill him. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, sweet. Now... Right, okay, so he's wasted his power. Oh, it's two turns. Okay, he keeps it for two turns. Right, so it's two. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, um. He's gonna go. He's gonna go for his bleed, right? He's gonna go for his bleed. Oh, faster! Yes! 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 <laughs> Save speed! Get in! <laughs> <laughs> they forgot about this armor there. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. You can have a ref. Put your ref in. I'll kill it. I've got Rexy there, but... Interesting. Interesting. Oh. This is very interesting. Do I go for Rexy? I feel like I just... I mean, if I do this, it's just going to cleanse, right? Yeah, there it is. He's gonna cleanse. He's gonna he's gonna heal a little bit and cleanse and get rid of that. So maybe I should have went for that second. <gasps> he didn't. He didn't. He's gonna be vulnerable. But then I'm gonna be able to go first and do more damage. That's gonna do a lot of damage. I uh, kill him. Oh, it's close. It's close. How much damage does he do? I think he's won this. I think he's won this. Yeah, so he gets that. Is my vulnerability, like, is... Ooh, I don't know. Is it just this turn? Or is it next turn as well? Because he's got his biggest hit, which does 5,700. I do have 15% armor. Um... Uh, how much does he heal when I swap out? 1,900. Oh, yes. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I could be wrong, though. Oh, no, I slow him down. Yes! I forgot about that. Oh, he's immune. Oh. <laughs> Aye! That hurt. Damn it, I've lost. Nuts! <laughs> yeah, I, I had a feeling like... None of this was going to work. Like, I didn't have a good team. It was all a bit niche. So, that kind of makes sense. We'll give him, like, hey, you did the laughing emoji. Well done. <laughs> if I had something else that I felt a bit more confident with, I like, when I saw that team, I was like, nah, that's not a winning team. I don't cover all my basics. But Marcel, I appreciate you still going for the trolling emotes this long into the game. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I, I thought we'd lose the third one. There's no way we could win three in a row. There's, there's chances we were going to get that. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.